So this is where it all started for me. Sat right here on my ottoman with a blown out window behind me and something cool looking on the TV. It was the first time I'd ever had a video get more than 50 views. I think that video got almost 4,000 views at this point. Couldn't believe it. And it was at that moment I got kind of hooked. So today I'm gonna share a little bit of my journey, but I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think you should start a YouTube channel too in 2024. So my name is UK, let's have a chat about it, shall we? So let's start with reason one and what I think is probably the, the biggest benefit of starting a YouTube channel is going to challenge you. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna be out in public walking around with a vlogging camera, what I mean by it's gonna challenge you is it's gonna make you learn new skills and it's gonna put you into potentially uncomfortable situations that you normally wouldn't choose to be in. See, I'm an introvert. I don't really like interacting with people all that much. But since I started my YouTube channel, I find myself picking up my vlogging camera and looking for excuses to go out into public. Like we're on a, a pretty busy, walking path right here where everybody goes to walk their dogs and I would never in a million years think about going out and talking to a camera in public prior to starting my YouTube channel. Now I don't know I think I've built up a little bit of confidence I'm trying something new and I look forward to to going out in the world and trying new things now and that is key it's challenging yourself to do something get out of your box you know maybe do something a little bit uncomfortable You'll be surprised at what that can do for your mentality. It's, let me tell you, it's been pretty good so far. So reason number two I would recommend starting a YouTube channel is the sheer amount of skills that you're gonna learn on that journey. Now, I have been doing this for about three months. I come from a bit of a marketing and web development background. So I already have a little bit of fundamentals, things like graphic design, um, a little bit of cinematography background, not much. Um, but the best part about this is I have learned all of these new skills on my journey on YouTube through watching videos like this on YouTube. See, anything that you want to do in this day and age, there's a video tutorial for it right there on YouTube. The amount of real world skills you're going to learn on this journey that you're going to be able to then apply to your every day to day life is immeasurable. And whether you're doing it part time, full time as a hobby, whether you're doing it with, you know, a vlogging camera, your webcam, or even just your cell phone, like even if you're just going out and shooting footage on your cell phone, the amount of skills you're going to learn to make your footage look better or to make your videos sound a little better, to add motion graphics, to add voiceover and sound effects, things like that. There are so many practical things to learn in the YouTube space, the list is endless. And speaking of everyday life, moving on to reason number three, YouTube creates opportunities. And not in the way you might think. My channel, I kind of do product reviews of things that I have bought with my own money and paid for, use them, and then like them enough to make a video review on it. I'm not sponsored, I'm not monetized. I do it because I really enjoy this. This has become a real passion of mine to, to give honest reviews on products that I really love and enjoy. Off the back of that, I've been approached by companies to review their products for them. I never in a million years expected to be approached by companies with 200 subscribers. I thought we were years away from that. But they liked the way that I presented the product. They liked the fact that I put the effort into my YouTube videos and they offered me products for free. Not paid, but they offered me products for free to review for them. These opportunities would never exist had I not started my YouTube channel. And I'm super grateful for, there's a company, I have a new chair right now. There's a company called FlexiSpot. I have been using a FlexiSpot desk for almost three years now. It's a sit stand height adjustable desk. I bought it with my own money. I didn't even use a coupon code, but I love that desk so much that I made a review of it. So I got in touch with them and I said, hey, I'm gonna do a big YouTube studio update. Do you wanna be a part of that? FlexiSpot, being awesome as they are, like, yeah, we wanna support small creators. What do you need? We got a new chair, we got a new desk in the background, we're gonna do a whole new studio tour update. That one's coming soon. Thanks to FlexiSpot, but on the back of that, 
I have made so many new connections and so many new friends through this YouTube journey. I have people who come into my videos to comment and leave me positive feedback. This is so heartwarming and so wholesome and again, just wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have been able to create these opportunities and to create these new friendships had it not been for starting a YouTube channel. I never started this YouTube channel with the ambition of becoming monetized and being the next Linus Tech Tips or anything like that. Um, but as I get better with YouTube, I can see more opportunities open where I could potentially monetize this hobby. Right now I've got affiliate links on some of my popular DJI Osmo Pocket 3 videos. Um, it's not making me a fortune, but I mean, it's something, right? The, these opportunities wouldn't have existed without starting my YouTube journey. And I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for everybody who takes the time to like and comment or subscribe to my channel. You guys are the lifeblood. You are the reason why I love to do this and it pushes me to get better and it pushes me to, to make better content and get better light and work on my background and get better audio and all that good stuff. But not only does it offer opportunities with sponsorships or product reviews or monetize things, when you put something out there on the internet and it's public, you can say, hey, look at this, I did this. This could become part of your portfolio, whatever it is you do. If you're out searching for a job and you've got a YouTube channel, which is all about that job you're searching for, you can add that YouTube channel right there on your resume and send potential employers. Look, I know what I'm talking about. Here's my YouTube channel. There are so many possibilities off the back of starting a YouTube channel that a lot of people overlook. And even if you're not doing it for monetization, even if you're not doing it for the products or the fame or the notoriety, there are so many benefits on the other side that I would highly recommend. And that would be why this is my reason number three for starting a YouTube channel in 2024. So reason number four, it's a little bit of a gimme, but in case you didn't know, you can actually upload videos, even in the highest quality, say 4K, you know, 30 FPS to YouTube and you don't have to make them public. You can keep them as private and then share links with them. But if you're somebody who takes a lot of video on your cell phone, like on your iPhone or Android, or you use your digital camera a lot and you're paying tons of money to you know, Google Drive or your iCloud, maybe consider uploading those videos to YouTube. I mean, it's free and I've had videos on YouTube platform for 12 years now on my previous account and they're still there and everything's fine. So just thought I'd throw that one out there, a bit of a economical way to store your video content. And finally, reason five. Honestly, guys, it's because of you. See, the community here on YouTube has been absolutely mind blowing. There was so much talk before I started this journey of negativity and trolls and just a lot of bad vibes. So far, I have posted about 30 videos to YouTube now. I have, I would say, probably across all of them, about 200, maybe 300 comments. I haven't received a single negative or mean comment on 30 videos. I was not expecting this at all. So my reason number five is you guys, the community, the people who sit and watch YouTube and support, you know, small creators like myself. You're the reason I get out of bed in the morning and really, really want to do this and keep doing this and keep getting better. It's not going to be the same for everybody. I'm going to run into trolls and negative people and haters. I'm sure of it. But what's shocking is I am now three months into this journey, not a single negative comment. Nobody's been mean. Nobody's trolled me. I'm on YouTube in 2024. Is this real life? I don't know. But I want to wrap this one up and just say thank you to everybody who's supported me on this journey so far. Y'all have been amazing, truly mind-blowing. Thank you to all my regulars who go and comment and like my videos right after they get posted. I love you guys so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because this is something that I've become really passionate about. And this is something that I really want to see where I can go with it. And it's because of you, it's because of the YouTube community and the Reddit NewTubers community and the Discord NewTubers community and all of these small little communities that are supporting new creators like myself with real positive messages, real good vibes 
and with the next generation of YouTubers, myself not so much, I'm getting on a little bit now, but I hope you get what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. My name is UK. Thank you so much for watching. You've been fantastic. I'll see you in the next one.